The United States Navy on Wednesday began a procedure that could remove from its elite sea, air, and lands unit an officer accused of war crimes whom President Donald Trump pardoned last week. Along with three other unidentified members of his unit, Edward Gallagher, 40, was notified today that a process will start to evaluate and look at their continued service as sea, air, and lands, spokeswoman for U.S. Special Forces Tamara Lawrence said. A panel of Navy sea, air, and land officers will convene in December to decide whether Gallagher can remain in the unit, Lawrence said. The panel will give its opinion to the commander of the U.S. Navy Special Forces, Rear Admiral Con Green, who will make recommendations to U.S. Navy Command, which will make a final decision, she added. In July, Gallagher was acquitted of charges related to the stabbing death of a wounded ISIS prisoner in Iraq, and of other killings of civilians. But he was convicted of posing with the slain fighter's body in a group picture with other sea, air, and lands. Glager's case which was closely followed by Trump, and last week the president reversed the military court's decision to reduce Glager's demotion following his conviction. He also pardoned a former U.S. soldier convicted of murder and a Greenberry charged with killing a suspected Taliban bombmaker. Lawrence declined to say whether the proceedings started on Wednesday had been opened in response to Trump's moves. Discussions have been ongoing since before the president's action, she said, but the sailors concerned were notified today. The procedure is administrative and not legal, and even if they are excluded from the sea, air, and lands, they will be able to continue serving in the Navy, 